Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. And welcome to Shawnee's Word of Encouragement. I just want to encourage everyone out there who may be dealing with their mental health. Maybe you're dealing with emotional distress. Maybe you're dealing with grief. Maybe you're overcome with sorrow. Maybe you're dealing with panic attacks, anxiety, heart palpitations. Maybe you're going through with hearing voices in your head. Maybe you've been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Maybe you've been diagnosed with schizophrenia, schizophrenia with multiple personalities. Um, maybe you've been diagnosed with borderline personality um, disorder. Whatever the situation may be, maybe you have osteoarthritis, arthritis. maybe you have rheumatoid arthritis, maybe you have osteoporosis, maybe you have diverticulitis, maybe you have Crohn's disease, maybe you have congestive heart failure, maybe you have a congenital heart defect, maybe you have heart murmurs. Maybe you have sickle cell anemia. Maybe you have sickle cell anemia, the trait. Maybe you have leukemia. Maybe you're going through it with chemotherapy, radiation, immunotherapy, or some other sort of cancer treatment. Maybe you've just had surgery after surgery. Maybe you're dealing with chronic pain in your body, pain in your neck, migraines, headaches, um, sinus issues, allergies, eye pain, glaucoma, cataracts, problems with your hearing, problems with your teeth. Maybe you're having problems with carpal tunnel. Maybe you're having problems with tennis elbow. Maybe you have problems with your with your back or your disc or your muscles or your bones or your tendons. Maybe you're having problems with your hips or your stomach. Maybe you have a problem with nausea. Maybe you have problems with your high blood pressure. Maybe you have problems with diabetes. Maybe you're having problems with your knees maybe you're having problems with your ankles or your feet or your toes or plantar fasciitis or baker says maybe you're having problems dealing with blood clots maybe you have an aneurysm maybe you have asthma maybe you have bronchitis maybe you have tuberculosis maybe you have pneumonia maybe you have copd maybe you have emphysema maybe you have myocarditis maybe you have aphasia remember maybe you have aphantasia maybe you have dementia or alzheimer's or autism it doesn't matter what it is that you're dealing with if you're dealing with any kind of grief any kind of pain whether it's physical pain emotional pain mental pain whether you're dealing with spiritual pain i want to encourage you to know hold on it's not fun when you're going through yes it sucks when your body is wrecked in pain yes it sucks when your mind is wrecked in pain you can't get any rest in your mind your mind is constantly going constantly 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 you can't get any peace in your mind you can't get any peace in your household you can't get any peace in your heart you don't have any peace in your spirit it's, it's not fun when you're broken and you feel like you're in a million pieces and it feels like not even God can mend you back together. Maybe you're going through with your kidneys or your liver or your thyroid. Um, There's so many different variances that we can be going through. But I want to encourage you in this. And this is someone who deals with chronic pain on a daily. This is someone who's dealt with grief and still dealing with grief and really don't know how to deal with grief. I want to encourage you that keep praying, keep praying, keep trusting God, keep believing. And I know this may sound like a broken record to some of you guys. Some of you guys may feel like this girl's telling me to keep praying. She's telling me to believe God. She's telling me to keep my hope in God, to get in God's word. I don't want to do all of those things, any of those things. I'm hurting. I'm, I, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm, I'm a mess right now. I don't even want to talk to God because I, I, I don't feel like God's going to hear my prayers anyway. I want to let you know, all of that, what you're thinking is nothing but the trick of the enemy. The enemy is putting those thoughts in your mind to keep you from doing those things. He put in the spirit of doubt. He's, he put in that seed in your head to think, oh, God is not going to hear my prayers because I'm too dirty. I'm too grimy. I'm too flawed. I'm too, I have too much sin going on in my life. He, he, he keeps putting those seeds, planting those seeds of discourse in your mind because it starts in the mind. That's why Joyce Myers came out with that book that said Better, Battlefield of the Mind because it truly starts in your mind about what you are thinking what you are concentrating on what you are focusing on and if you're focusing on everything that you're going through if you're focused on everything that do that you do not have and everything that you need and everything that you want 
and how it seems like you're, if you're focusing on everyone else and how it seems like everyone else is blessed and everyone else is prosperous and you're the one that's never becoming blessed. You're the one that's never going to be able to make it out of your situation. You're never going to be healed in your body. You're never going to, the voices in your head are never going to stop. You're never going to stop hurting so deeply about your loved one that passed on. If you keep thinking like that, that's what's gonna what it's gonna be. The Bible says, "As a man thinketh, so is he." Meaning, what you spend your time thinking about yourself, what you spend your time believing about yourself, that's what's gonna happen. The Bible says, "Life and death is in the power of the tongue." Meaning, you can speak curses upon yourself, or you can speak blessings upon yourself. You can speak destruction upon yourself, or you can speak um, healing upon yourself. So what are you speaking to yourself on today? What are you thinking about yourself on today? Are you thinking, let me get in the word of God so I can learn what God is saying for me to do? Let me get in the word of God so I can understand God's character and how we can get healing, how we can draw healing from him, how the healing virtue could come down the throne of grace and into my body. Or are you thinking already with a defeated mentality? Are you already thinking being negative and seeing the cup half um, half empty instead of seeing it half full? It's all about perspective. It's all about how you're going to think about your situation. It's all about how you think of yourself. It's all about what you think of God and how you believe God. It, it starts on how you believe. Because if you can't believe God's written word, how can you believe that God exists? If you cannot believe the, the blueprint that God has left for us, if you cannot believe the GPS of the written book, the Bible that God has left for us, how can you believe that he exists when you have never seen him? How can you believe that? So I encourage, I'm not diminishing what anyone is going through. Trust me when I tell you, I'm going through a lot, a lot. But I also know it's all about what you're focusing on. If you're going to focus on all the time what you don't have, how your body is wrecked in pain. Trust me, I listen, I understand pain sucks. It's nothing fun about pain, especially when you're dealing with constant chronic pain. When it hurts to even move, when it hurts to even turn over in the bed, when it hurts to even get out of the bed and just to be able to stand up on your feet, it feels like you're about to fall out. I get it. Listen, I understand but what I also know to be true is the less you think about what you're going through and the more you start giving God praise, the less you start thinking about your situation and the more you start to worship God, the less you think about what you don't have and what you're in the need of and start really getting into the word of God and allowing God to speak to you through his word. So many people say, oh, God don't speak to me. God don't. Well, are you in the Bible? We always expect to hear God's voice audibly, like the way I'm speaking. You, you don't always hear God's voice like that. But if you really want to hear God's voice and know, want to know what God is thinking about, get in the word. Get in his word and allow God to speak to you. Allow God to guide you. Allow God to lead you. Allow God to direct your path. Allow God to tell you which way to go, which way to turn, what to do, when to do it, what not to do. Let God speak to you. Allow God to tell you what maybe supplements you need to take that will heal your body. Maybe God may tell you, go get the, uh, the anointing oil and rub your body down five times a day. And I want every time you rub your body down with this oil five times a day, I want you to say this scripture. Or I want you to say these words. But if you never give a ch God the chance to speak to you, he's, he's not going to be able to tell you those things. So I want to encourage everybody, regardless of what you're going through, I want you to hold on to hope. Yes, it sucks. Yes, it sucks. But it sucks even more if we don't hold on to God. It sucks even more if we don't have any hope. It sucks even more if we don't have any faith. It sucks any more, um, even more if we don't have God to believe in. So I want to just give you the, the encouragement to stretch out on God today. Regardless of what the situation is, stretch out on God Stretch out on God. Trust me, God will not leave you. He will not ghost you. He will not forget about you. He will not drop you. God will lift you up. God will encourage you. 
So whatever you're going through on today, cast all of your cares upon him, for he careth much. God bless you.